Well, hello out there. Today a review of the Ganso F. F is for Firebird. The Ganso F761-1 knife. This is a knife in the 760 series of Gansos, which started out. I have already made a review of the 760, which is. Uh, similar action and so on but uh, quite a different knife what is very nice about these two latest is of course that they both are done very well and even uh, done quite originally Ganso uh, has some fame or whatever you want to call it for copying a bit of designs but I think the 760 series uh, sort of are their own design and quite nice at that and this as I mentioned is a 761 and I think we'll do as we normally do as I normally do and I'll start at the blade and work my way down to the end of the knife and describe it a little bit to you and tell you what I see and what I have experienced with it carrying a little, a little bit as I mentioned if we start at the blade a satin finish blade, a very broad blade, a simple uh, drop point style but very broad and if we look at the spine and uh, there's a switch but even if, even with that it is a rather thin knife, it's thin behind the edge and makes for a quite nice slicer which is always a good thing. Uh, tiny bit of jimping on the back of the blade more for looks than for for any practical purpose but yeah that's the way it is and uh, we have sort of a little bit of a, a curve here for your thumb to rest quite nicely uh, on top here and of course there's some the blue thumb studs which are uh, quite nicely a quite nice accent for the for the blade and looking at the edge it is or firstly it is a very sharp knife secondly it has a nice uh, sharpening choil so I think it would be quite quite easy to sharpen even with my old Lansky system moving on to the handle a black G10 handle with uh, some some uh, cuts or millings for for looks I suppose and of course we notice the G lock as I call it it is an access lock but uh, Ganso calls it a G lock and uh, blue hardware the screws are all blue and gives um, I think a nice accent to the handle looking at the other side the usual a pocket clip on a lot of Kanzos, quite nice and quite usable. Not that deep carry, and as we notice, even that with blue hardware. And of course, uh, the rest of the design of the handle is as it is on the other side. On the spine of the handle, a bit of jimping, more efficient than that of the blade, but still more for looks than. For any practical use, it is not a very, very uh, grippy in any way. And we have the same, uh, sorry, we have the same sort of jimping on the on the backspacer here, which actually gives a little bit of uh, resistance, so that it's easier to pick up of out of your pocket uh, when you grab it like this in your pocket, like this, yes. If we talk about, uh, should talk a little bit about fit and finish, everything is nicely rounded off, very flush, uh, liners flush with the scales and the backspacer flush with all the rest, no, no, no edges sticking out, even on the back and, and it is perfectly centered. So quite nice uh, fit and finish indeed. Ergonomically, 
as you can see it has a nice choil for your for your index finger and it is in fact very nice it gives a nice grip it fits very nice in hand I have a size 9 hand just for you for you to compare and it fits quite nicely and I even have some some surplus down here at the end at the butt end in reverse grip very very nice indeed draw cut yeah that's quite okay as well normally some of these humps have a tendency to stick a bit in your hand but in your palm but this is quite nice uh, has a lot of other pocket knives uh, with uh, a lot of knives with clips the clips clip uh, is noticeable in in the hand but not uh, doesn't seem to be a hot spot in any way and uh, last but not least uh, action the bearing uh, sorry action is uh, washers on the pivot which uh, gives this uh, typical washer action but uh, well it's rather smooth for a washer knife and I have no problem whatsoever flipping it out and even flipping it in but it is uh, it is not a drop shot knife I have taken this a little bit apart just to lubricate and so on but it actually didn't need it that much uh, it was came quite smooth and of course as always you can adjusted a little bit the action on the pivot screw uh, f to your liking I hate blade play so and there's no blade play so I of course adjust it so that there is no blade play and that sometimes does something to the action but I think I find found a nice compromise here and the action from to me is quite nice and this is what I like in general about these uh, newer versions of uh, Ganso, the Firebirds, uh, the newer versions. I think from around Ganso F750 uh, and above, uh, up to these 760s, uh, I have a seven. Let's see, a 751 here, a flipper knife, very very nice action also, and the other one in the 760 series also a, a thumb start knife but this one on bearings and it is amazing action uh, blade uh, not quite so good uh, quite a bit thicker behind the edge but uh, of course the action on bearings is amazing but as a cutting tool uh, this 761 might actually be a little better choice otherwise go out and get both they are worth it I think these knives go for around uh, 23 20 dollars uh, depending on if you can get it on a flash sale or whatever and uh, these I find found them at Gearbest and there's a couple of other places you might find them as well uh, I'm about to prepare a video for uh, and talk a little bit about ordering in China and ordering these Chinese knives like, like the Ganso, like, uh, like the CT Smart and whatever they are called. Some of you have had uh, some questions about, uh, about shipping times, about customs, about this and that. And uh, I'm thinking about trying to make a video on how to order on these places. But we will see what I can manage. Anyway, back to the knife. I have enjoyed this knife very much uh, and still do. It is a very cheap choice for a, a good uh, sort of a PETA EDC knife for, and also a quite sturdy knife indeed. Just for the last thing, maybe a size comparison. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the San Renmeo 7010, uh, it's this size, and many of my American viewers uh, might think that it would be nice to compare it to a, a Red One, Ontario Red One, this one, 
and you can see that it's a bit yeah it's a bit about the same size as an Ontario red one and it's quite a bit larger than the Sandy Remyo 7010 so it's a knife in, in uh, a good a good size uh, maybe a bit big for some of you I think that's what I hear in my comments but uh, well I like big knives so that's okay uh, lately I have gotten some small ones as well that I quite like so uh, watch my channel and see what happens uh, if you like what I just did please leave a like uh, subscribe leave a comment if you want to I noticed, uh, I'm sorry I celebrated, that I just have uh, rounded 200 subs and I'm very pleased with that and I am thankful to every, each and every one of you that you wanted to subscribe to me. I didn't make a giveaway because, yeah, well frankly I couldn't afford it this time, but around 250 or perhaps 300 I will do something. Uh, I promise you, uh, I have a few things coming in that might that might enter the sort of a giveaway or something. I'll see what I can do and try to make it worth your while to be a subscriber with me as well. But anyway, you're great people and I thank you a lot for subscribing. Uh, even the, the comments on my videos are so nice and I enjoy very much uh, interacting with you. So, um, so write me, uh, subscribe, do whatever you like. I, I appreciate it all and I'll see what I can do to pay you or give you something, a little something back. Okay, that was it. The Ganso 761. Indeed, a very nice knife. I liked it a lot. And with this, have a nice day, evening, whatever it is in your country. Bye bye.